Hey guys, I am here. I'm just uh, raising my eyebrows to the fact that literally the second I press live streaming, you can hear barking. So I don't know whether you'll be able to hear it or not. Very annoying. Anyway, I'm just doing my share outs now. And then it gets them out the way. But hi, I am here. Yeah, if I get them all done now, then I haven't got to worry. Later on. Why is it when you're in a rush, you forget how to actually do things? Oh, that'll do. Okay. Hi Joe, I think that was you. Did I see you there? Hello. I need to hand out some apologies in a minute. I don't know if there's anywhere else. I'm going to try. I'm probably going to get a load of crap, but we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Anyway, hi. How are you all? Who have we got? It's moi. Hi, moi. Uh, hi Carol. Okay, first of all, I need to move my Mac because I didn't do it. If I don't move my Mac, I can't see anything. Bring that up. Uh, I don't. The stream's current bit rate is lower than recommended. Why have I got such a low bit rate? Oh, hang on. Let me see if I can change this while I'm live streaming, which I can. Okay, so let's have one, two, three, four, five. Apply. Okay, that might work a bit better. Okay, I'm probably juddery, but I've just changed my bitrate higher, so I'm hoping it will be okay. If not, I'm going to have to stop the live stream and start again, which is going to be really annoying. We'll see. Is it stopping and starting for you guys? Oh, fine. We're fine. Okay. Apologies for two things. Firstly, one for starting early. I have limited battery time available. Um, and two, I'm a poorly bunny and my throat really hurts. I haven't lost my voice because it's not a, it's not a throat problem in the sense of the word, but it is a throat problem, but it's all to do with my sinuses. So it's basically making my throat really sore. Hence why I'm doing a quick one today. Um, I need that. I'm thinking again tonight. Let me just change that. We're going to do the moon again in nail polish like we did last time. So I'm probably going to do that first. Hi Sue. 
and I'm hoping I'm not going to mess up by using a little bit of masking fluid on this paper we'll find out So I'm hoping you see a, I was just thinking, masking fluid's actually going to do bugger all. So that's a really stupid idea, Benita. So let's actually get rid of that. And it probably is going to ruin it now. Oh no, we're not too bad. The reason why is because we're not working with watercolour or acrylics. We're working with nail polish, so... Only the moon will be with nail polish, by the way. Everything else will be with gouache. Um, so, hands up if you have ever used gouache before. By the way, what colour moon? Before we do that, what colour moon are we going to do? Are we going to have this pretty colour? Or are we going to have this pretty colour? Hey Imogen, no worries. I'm thinking this gorgeous blue because I think that will sit in with my colour range better. Please say you all agree. Blue, yeah, I think we should go blue. Right, it's telling me all to focus off, hang on. Yeah. Oh man! Two for blue, one for gold. There's such a delay between when I talk and when you hear it that it takes forever. So while I'm waiting for some answers, I'm going to explain exactly what I have in front of me. So to the right here, I have, you can probably hear it, a tile. And the reason being is I just find a tile easier to work on when using any acrylics, sometimes watercolour. It just saves having a palette, basically. Um, if you're here now and you missed the beginning, I was just explaining that the reason I started a bit earlier is one, because my throat's really sore and two, because I'm limited battery time. So I've probably got about an hour that I can squeeze out of the battery at the moment. Um, so the gouache, I have done one already today, which I've left up there, which isn't practical whatsoever, which most of you have probably seen. So I had a bit of a practice. Hi, Erica. I had a bit of practice today just to get myself used to the medium because I've only ever really used the white and that's for using highlights and that's all I've ever done. So I thought I'd give it a go and I'm using Hannah Muley uh, Lana paper because I've just got a whole range of colors available. So yeah, that's what I did earlier and this is what I intend to do tonight so the gouache I think 12 colors yeah 12 colors I won't go through the whole lot because I'll just bore you but I'm probably going to use the blue purple yellow orange green white and I might try and keep it within that palette won't need any black of course there's two different types of green. There's ultramarine and there's the cerulean, but I prefer the cerulean, so I'll stick to that. Okay, so let's go with the blue then. Let's get that on now because I need it to have time to dry. Coffee man's just coming in and getting himself settled before he makes me a coffee. Coffee. <laughs> would you like coffee? I would love a coffee. That's so kind of you to suggest it. Oh my God, this looks amazing on the black paper. Oh, getting high again. Holy crap. I might need a couple of coats.
quite dense in the middle so I'm just trying to spread that out I don't know how that's conveying down the camera I will look up in a minute I'm just concentrating on getting a coating come on I need to get a point Okay. Hi Emily. I'll let him know you said hi in a minute. Okay, so I don't know how that's conveying because there's obviously quite a lot of <laughs> who's a happy bunny. Look at that. If I turn that light off. Holy moly. That is the most beautiful moon I've ever seen in my life. Oh, it's gorgeous. Hang on, let me... Look at that, look at that. Okay, I'm a little bit in love. A little bit high as well, but a little bit in love. Okay, so my colour palette... Let me turn that down. We often have to fight with the lights being too bright, but my colour palette is mainly going to be around the teals and the greens, I think, and a bit of purple. Don't really know, to be perfectly honest. I'm just going to go with it. So I'm going to use, as I say, my tile, and let's just. I haven't even used that one. It's not even open. I'm going to Bob Ross it. And we have got Burnt Sienna. We have got Sap Green. I really probably didn't need that much, but it does dry up. So um, I'm not going to use the Ultramarine. Cerulean. Cerulean Blue. cerulean blue we have got a violet thank you coffee man wendy says hi hello that's his silly voice pop it over here dummy that's fine thank you Back to Joe there. yeah i'm gonna put I'm going to put an orange in and I might make the stars sparkly. So I've just put the paint across the top of the palette, basically. There. Tiles are really, really good for this. And then I've just got a mat down underneath it as well. A very relatable mat as well. I made all of these for my kitchen table. Um... But it just stops my uh, worktop getting scratched, basically. Oh, that's where it's dried. And then a pretty big blob of white. Because I'll end up lightening a load of colours as well. So, okay. For the science bit, there are three types of gouache. One is artist, one is graphic, and one is acrylic. Acrylic is self-explanatory. If you're not familiar with acrylics, they dry very hard, so you cannot reactivate them, and they, they dry with a shine. But uh, gouache doesn't have any shine to it, so it dries very much. It's a very graphic medium, and you'll find that uh, they lay down, you can lay them down very thick, thickly, thickly, and the colour payback that you get off, they're really, really intense in their colour. Uh, the artist gouache is a type of paint that you can reactivate. Designer's gouache, or yep, designer's gouache, is non-reactivated, or it doesn't reactivate as easily, something along those lines. So when you think about, I don't know, some vintage uh, poster designs where it's all very geometric and simple colours and simple shapes, that sort of when you imagine gouache that's what you think of really 
I'm going to get another co co coat while I'm yabbering on. Um, so it's a very versatile medium. Generally, you would use it on watercolour paper, but I have had... Can't talk today. I have found that the Hannah Mule actually works very well. So the gouache that I'm using today is just a really cheap, because I'm cheap, um, from the works, and it costs three quid for twelve. I thought there's no point in me spending loads of money if I'm not going to get on with the medium. I might as well just try it first see how I get on then I can decide so I have two jugs of water I'd say they were clean but they're not because I haven't bothered cleaning them from earlier today because I'm lazy um okay I've also got Posca pens because I think doing some of the detailing I think the Posca pens really really help so I'm thinking we're going to do a light violet in the background so I still want it to look like nighttime but I don't want it to be hugely hugely dark because we want lots of color in there I have found as well that you for me I don't know whether it's the brushes I need you definitely need synthetic brushes for this um, you do need to water it down a little bit otherwise I find that it can be quite thick and quite dry so let's just go for it should have mixed more I haven't got enough now which means I'll probably end up with two different colours which would be just typical. Let's mix some more up now. So you can see it goes on really thickly and really smoothly. Let me just move the camera slightly. What is a Posca pen? A Posca pen is basically a paint pen. So that's a Posca pen. You get them in different thicknesses. So these are the smaller ones. So they're almost like an acrylic pen. So you get these ones which have like a, a, mar oh, a marker nib. And then these smaller ones which are more like a, a pen nib. But they're what I use to add the detail. So all the white dotting and the sort of loosey flowery bits here were all done with the Posca pen. I, I haven't tried to be honest. As I say, I am very new to the medium. I think once it's dry, you probably can. Because it dries matte. So you, you tend, you know, you won't have a resist. There won't be much tooth in it, I can't imagine. But it depends on the type of paper you use, I suppose. Right, for the sake of my sanity, I am going to... Uh, yeah, I will go... In with the shapes I haven't over all that tree but you can um, a bit like acrylic you can layer over it quite easily so if you make a mistake just let it dry and then go over it with another color I can't believe how much this nail polish stinks I've only done like this tiny little bit Probably could have gone a bit darker, to be honest, but I'm not here for any realism whatsoever. I am. This is very much based on Scandinavian uh, folksy style. Um, the picture that I did earlier this morning was based on an old Scandinavian paper cut that I designed. 
and I think gouache lends itself really well to that sort of design because it is very graphic. If you like Scandinavian design, look up Sana Anuka because she's just mind-blowingly amazing. She's done lots of stuff for M&S. It's pretty quick actually to dry. I think as long as it's on a, a good quality paper, I mean it's barely tacky down there now so it, yeah it does dry pretty quick. I have found though that um, Oh, my throat is hating that nail polish tonight. Um, I have found, though, that the yellow I've struggled with. I had to get, like, I don't know, four coats, I think, down on the yellow. It just wouldn't it wouldn't lay down. Like, as smooth as this purple's gone down. See, not everybody likes the finish that you get with acrylic. They don't like that shine. Is that in focus? Yeah, sorry, it will be in the camera. Okay. I might have enough. So, depending on what you're working on, I would do the same as you would with a colour drawing. So, if you're right handed, work from top left down to bottom right. Vice versa, if you're left handed. I've just got to remember all the design elements that I want to put underneath. Also, the, the paper, like from this morning, you can see that it's barely warped. It's still really flat because you don't need any um, major uh, sort of watering down. It, it stops your paper from mucking about. I've not seen pe the Posca pens are absolutely fantastic. Look them up; they they are really really good pens. Um, yeah, you can lay white down before. I just found, I don't know whether it's because, in all honesty, if if you're going to try gouache, ideally you need to have better quality than I have I have literally just been a cheap ass and grabbed the cheapest I could find um and I do think some of it's the quality of paint if I'm perfectly honest Definitely think if I had a better quality paint, I wouldn't have such an issue with the lay down of some of those colours. Okay. Like I did pull out the brown because I've got the tree branch to do. So rather than worrying about getting these edges absolutely crisp, 
I will use a Posca pen to go around the edge, potentially, I might use the black. Um, but around the leaves, when I go over with the green, it will be much smoother because I'll be going from gouache on to gouache, so it won't be as um, feathery. Is it like poster? It's more like acrylic paint. Poster paint tends to crack off very easily. Um, it's it's more like acrylic paint. Doesn't it? Doesn't. Um, I don't believe it dries shiny actually. I'm gonna run out and again, aren't I? I'm gonna need more Parapel. Leave that bit up there for the other bits. Squeeze it off the brush, come on, get off. There we go. Uh, if I take a quick picture, I think I have anyway, it's on my thumbnail, isn't it? Of what the design's supposed to look like. And then I won't forget all my elements when I come to uh, actually do it. So I want him to look like he's poking out of his frame. So his little bottom there just hangs off the edge of that branch. I mean, I'm even tempted to erase that branch and just have th these bits. Sorry, there is an excessive amount of paint on my brush where I've been mixing it. Hey, hi Katie. It got to you on time this time, huh? I might alter that head once it's done because I must have drawn that head about five flipping times. Okay, so I'm not even going to try and keep that bit in there because I'm not glutton for punishment. Okay, that top of the oval is not going to match. So as we come round, I think that's fine. I'm pretty sure this is like the paint that you, you know when you see them have like two colours on a paintbrush and they just go bleh, 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 and you've got this beautiful 3D amazing rose just from a few splodges on a bit of paper. Pretty sure it's that type of paint. There is nothing worse than having your bottom hanging out, is there? Right, I think that needs rounding up. I was like, how am I going to draw a perfect oval? And then I thought, why are you worrying about drawing a perfect oval? It's a nice, folksy, cute, naive design. Just let it be. But it is just really nice stuff to work with. The pigment just, yeah, it just all goes down really nicely. Yeah, I'm happy with that shape. I've gone over my leaf gap. I'm just going over where it's slightly missed there. even going over the nail polish guys so that's how opaque it is which is pretty good I 
bye bye plant no problemo it's nice to uh, have you here for even if it was just a few minwees Almost, almost, almost. I probably could have got away with a darker background, but we'll see. I can always, worst case, go over it. But I actually think that's probably quite effective. It's like he's almost sat in front of a double moon. That oval is just completely wrong, isn't it? Do you know what? I can't bother to even worry about it. I could. I think the Scandinavian one, the original one, would do very well. Hi, Pam. There's a whole little mini series that I want to do, which um, I'm not going to give anything away. In fact, saying that, I need to write that note down. There we go. You meow for. Okay, so I think this side, there, this side's dry. So I can now work on that plant and the branch. Let's do the branch. Let's just keep the colours really simple as they would be. That's a bit too... Uh, Woody brown for my liking. Just taking some of that red out. Okay. I have to draw a leaf right there. It really helps when you've got that sort of point into a flat to just push your brush down um, and it just helps fill that larger area. And a lot of these can seem a bit, well, some people don't like them when they look this flat. I, I personally don't mind it. In fact, I'm going to go over the whole thing. Um, but it's when you come back and you add a little bit of the detail with the pens or, you know, highlights, things like that, that it really starts to pop. Right, I'm undecided whether I want to finish that branch. I'm quite tempted to not. Let me eradicate it and see what I think. I'll get rid the best I can. decide if that looks odd after I finish the owl. Okay, just going over with a second coat. make a bit lighter it's a face I want um, a bit more real color 
but his body won't be. So his face is going to be this nice pale, yeah, stupid sticky out bit of brush there. Bye bye face. I'm not too worried about rough edges on these bits because when I go over with the other colour that's when I can come over the edge and just smooth it out. So I'm going to let that dry. If you were to be doing this on white paper you wouldn't have to keep going over with a second coat. It's only because I'm on the black and I have watered it down slightly so... Okay, I need a thinner brush. Oh, actually, let's use that one to mix. So that's its light form and then we need it as stay brush we need it as it is in its normal form so cerulean blue okay the purple's pretty dry now Ugh. not enough room obviously like to work in a really weird awkward way Doesn't do me any favours, I'm sure. I hear pity patty feet upstairs. Okay, so the edge of his wing is going to be pure cerulean blue and then the inside will be a lighter cerulean blue. So I'm just going to get the edge down and then probably get another coat on it after I've done the inner colour. If at any point I go dead and the live feed just cuts off, I apologise. As I say, I think I've got about an hour for the battery. That's how long I had earlier. And that was on a full charge. So I'm waiting for a bit of equipment to come through so I don't have to keep relying on battery power. Because it's a pain. Okay, so we've got our edge. Okay, now the lighter blue. This is a much better brush to do it with, but I haven't got one small enough in this type. I'm 
I'm going to try and do it really in like one big action just helps you get a straighter line almost like when you're cutting in painting walls around sockets and door frames So he'll probably need a second coat. I'm probably doing it all completely wrong. As I say, this is a completely new medium for me and I didn't want to set myself up by watching any tutorials or any information. I just wanted to find out what I needed to find out and just give it a go. don't like to be influenced by other people's view on an art material if you know what I mean I need to give it a go myself right what color what color what color what color let's go with let's grab some of that I'm just sort of making colours up as I go along, basically, at the moment. So this is still a blue, but slightly different. You might not even be able to see the difference in the camera. down it's almost like a blocked in painting but you don't really add much in the way of detail I mean you do but it's just generally shapes rather than rather than masses it is not much difference but there is a difference promise I'm not making it up okay let's do the first of the leaf and I'm actually going to do that with a Posca pen I think in fact, let's get that leaf over there with a layer of paint and then that gives that time to dry. Hi, Abigail. Thank you. I need a sip of coffee. Hopefully it's not too hot. Has anyone noticed what's missing from my background? There's something missing. Okay, so we're starting off with our fine and say so it's easy just to lay your brush flat and then release pressure. So if you've ever done hand lettering, it's very similar. That's a bit too watery that, so I'm going to have to wait for that to dry and put another coat. Yeah, I'll wait for that to dry. Let's clean the brush. Not the background of the picture, the background of my office. But yes, there will be stars going in. But now I've realised I haven't done that. 
sky dark enough. I'm wondering whether or not actually I try and ombre the purple down. I might try and do that. I might regret this, but... Okay, it's going to look pants at first. But trust me, I'm an artist. I don't know why I'm so careful about sparing the shape of these leaves. I've just got to paint over them. Okay, so I'm just going to get the dark down to the level that I want it and then I'll start to ombre it out. Just want it dark enough really that you can see the stars a bit better. Oh, all I can hear is them ramming that fence. If it's not barking, it's fence ramming. So we can probably start on braying that down a bit now. God take woman. In fact, this side I might not even bother. Let's just. That's better, I think. Bit of more nighttimey feel now. So let's just get that round his head. So I'm not going to worry about the leaves, they just are what they are. So I'm just going to just get it to ombre down a bit more. The trouble is because it's wet on dry now, you can't always tell because it dries lighter than when it's wet. Definitely think it's more atmospheric now. Oh, it is really hot, isn't it? So yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. See if we can't get it. Let's get rid of any light, and then all I've got is the straight purple. light patch right in the middle of his 
thing there. I don't understand where that oh where that's come from. I'm gonna have to wait for that to dry, I think. Or I'm gonna have to go straight out the tube. Oh, so warm in here and I can't have the doors open. I'm melting. There we go, it's a bit better. I think it's just reacting with the coat that's underneath. Like I say, if this was... I seem to have made my own stars now. If this was a graphic gouache, it wouldn't shift like this. But because it's artist gouache, it, it shifts, so it's easier to blend and do whatever. That's my technical term, that is, do whatever. Right, let's get another coat on his back. I'm going to go slightly darker. So we want some atmosphere. God, I love cerulean blue. How's the battery looking? So far, so good. I have got my Spectrum Noir metallic pens because I'm quite tempted to do the triangles that I had designed on his back in the Spectrum Noir. Haven't done his undercarriage yet, so let's do that nice and dark I think mix a bit of that purple and blue might not even see it It's definitely got a nighttime feel to it now. Now I've gone a bit darker on that that sky. Yeah, can you not um that side right there? There's normally something else there. But I've had a little bit of a change around. I've got the black to remind me of these colours. Should have done the border first, woman. Oh well, too late now. Get a nice breeze down there, don't you?
Okay, so, so far so good for a second. I know I'm not doing anything hugely detailed, but for a second picture, it's going all right, I think. Right, I'm going to lighten the green for this side. I might need a couple of coats for that, but... <laughs> I suppose, yeah, you are on the phone. I always forget that not everyone's sat in front of a computer watching this. That is very, 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 very true. Oh, damn it, I've done it again. Right, I'm using my teeny brush because I just want to get these leaves nice and slick. Again, they'll probably need a couple of coats. This isn't really looking quite as I want it. wanted it to. But I know we haven't got to the detailed stage yet, so I'm not going to be in a panic just yet. To get the little towel fan down at this rate. Boiling. That's a better colour against that purple. Not sure I can't comment so hassed off and then come back again. That's weird. Very not sure because I'm on my phone. Oh. It's all right. It's no biggie. I've, I had a load of gonks behind me. I like gonks. A bit obsessed with gonks, actually. And I never put them away. So even when Christmas is over... Oh, my God, I said that word. Um, They stay out. Because they're all like doorstops and stuff. So but I swapped them over to my Deadpools and my Bob Ross. looks all right yeah it's definitely going to need another coat so while that's drying we can then work on some of the details you really do need to let it dry before you go over with any posca pens or sakura jelly rolls anything like that otherwise it just has a hissy fit and it doesn't really um it clogs up the nibs I'm like please be able to do this in one stroke no nope. dead name it I need one of them resty sticks. I can breathe. So we have the Royal Welsh coming next week where I live. We have Gareth Wynne Jones from... Oh, right.
that would be really cool. Wouldn't it? I'm wondering whether I can get rid of any more of the pencil lines around that nail polish. Otherwise, I'm going to have to extend it out, I think. This is the Spectrum, it's doing it upside down now. These are the Spectrum Metallic markers. So I'm using silver ing ingot at the moment. So I'm using silver for the larger. It's already dried. I don't think it's 100% dry on the paint yet. So I've probably not done myself any favours. So I'll use the other end. Okay, one of these Posca's floods, and I can't remember which one it is, so I need to be careful. I think it's that one. So it either doesn't work or it floods everywhere. Yeah, it's that one. thought I'd do the most recognisable constellation. But again, you can see how easy Posca pens are to get down. They work so well. Probably had no idea or aim to go out that far with the stars, but hey ho, done now. Get the second coat of green on in a second. little bit curled up here where I've put all those coatings on but eventually once it dries it flattens back down it is the plow the big dipper the saucepan I think that's most of the names for it. Okay, so let's get the second coat of green. Picked up the wrong brush really, but
colour's a bit lighter now. Never mind. Does the back no good? Right, almost done on the leaves. Okay. So that's pretty much the basis of it done. All I've got to really do is try and get that fine line on his face and then get his eyes and beak sketched in. You don't need to convince me with any Spectrum Noir stuff. Um, I've been hanging tight purposely to get a specific set of sparkle inks. Um, because everyone needs sparkle in their life and it's amazing. Um, yeah, they're really nice, aren't they? Everything has to sparkle. Right, I need to look up the face now because 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 what song was that from? Sorry, two seconds. Uh, it's in the gallery, Benita. Wake up. There. Okay. So, face. I need to get like an edging. No, I've just painted that side. I need to just get a little edging around his face. This painting might be a hard one to let go. Okay, I didn't do the second coat of the dark blue. I'll do the second coat of the dark blue and then I can do his eyes. I do, oh, it's crap, isn't it? If ever there was a wizard, there was. Yes, you're absolutely right. It was. It was the Wizard of Oz. I'm going to redraw TikTok soon. I'm going to do a, uh, a realism version. I did a rainbow one, didn't I, ages ago? But I really want to do a realism version now. Yeah, 
there we go. Yeah, I mean, it's great that you can reactivate this, but it's, it's, I know it's user error. <clears throat> the fact that um, I'm having to come back and do second coats. As I say, I'm pretty, pretty new to this stuff here. definitely needs those extra coats otherwise it just doesn't it's picking up the color underneath it's uh i think for me i'm gonna have to look at getting the graphic wash phone's busy okay And I never mean duck if you ever see it in a sentence of mine. Your coffee man is a bit slow. Oh, hang on. Ozone spell check. Bloody spell check. That's really coming to life now. I love owls. Your coffee man. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He can't hear nothing I'm saying because he's got his headphones on. Well, I am going to pencil his eyes in because I don't want to end up ruining it. But basically, sort of there. And then eyes, I guess. There. It's all very strange not doing realism. too light what is weird is sitting here with no music because whenever I'm in my office on my little Todd I've always got a bit of music going I don't like how much space that's taken up. Please reactivate. Uh, possibly. Wait, see? See how easy it is to erase mistakes? Just, I mean, it's all dried up on my tile, his face colour, but I've just gone in with a tiny bit of water and it's reactivated. So I'm happy with that. <sighs> Blend out too much now. See, I'm trying to be clever here and I shouldn't be because this isn't the style that it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be nice and simple and I'm not making it simple and I'm getting cross with myself so just stop it. Stop it. Uh, Hannah Mule Lana paper. It's really lovely stuff. Um, I've only ever really used it for pastel. And I don't really use it that often either for pastel. And I've got these gorgeous colours and thought, what can I do on it? I thought, do you know what? Let's just do... That's far too close to the colour. I need yellow. No, do I need yellow? I don't know. I don't know what I need. I don't want to make his beak really dark. I think I'd have shading underneath. So Hannah Mulo is like a textured. It's like a um, woven. It's like a woven paper. Um, so it does have a weave to it. Right, I'm going to shade under his beak to indicate rather than trying to 
colour his beak in. There we go. For the sake of his eyeballs, I may just draw it in black Posca pen. Oh, let's just oh, let's just throw gouache over the place, shall we, and make a right mess. I'll do it in gouache, as that is the main purpose of this tutorial. I need a tiny bit, tiny bit, tiny bit. Tiny bit. Three guesses where you can get it. In fact, I'll give you one. And it begins with P. Angela does it. Well, she used to. She, I, I don't imagine she's stopped using it because I'm sure she sells it as a pastel paper. Amazing how everything looks crap and odd until you put eyes in it. Battery, right, we're halfway. What I'll do is next time, if I know that the live feed's going to be a long one, then I'll just swap it over to the webcam again shut up Bixby no no why is Bixby talking to me I haven't even asked it to do anything damn thing I swear it's just people listening on your phone okay we'll let that dry and then we can add the little highlight okay so let's get the details in now That bit's bugging me. And now it's not bugging me. That's better. Is it a male you I I'm confused. I'm easily confused right now. Okay, what colour triangle triangles? Gee. What colour triangles? I had no plan for the colour. Crap. I didn't even think about the colour. White, black, brown. Mm. Quite tempted to do them this coppery colour. Blue and copper, it looks like verdigris, doesn't it? So I'm quite tempted to do this blue, blue and copper. I don't know, actually. I, I, oh, it's still a bit damp. Right, that's going to be for that. Let's get on and do the, that's dry. Let's, do I want to do black? No, I'm going to do white. Okay. This is where all the cute details come in. And you can be as detailed or as not detailed as you like. It does try pretty dry it pretty quick. It does. 
I think that gets a bit lost. Okay. I think because it doesn't have an acrylic surface, it it does dry well. It does dry a lot quicker than acrylic. I love him so far. I do hope you like it. Squash. Hi, J. Lou. Just Lou, J. Lou. I'm going to get some extra details in because I like details. I take satisfaction in adding details. It's my bag. I love it. Now this one's getting lost. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of shading or highlighting, I should say, just down wrong side, really, because the moon's not shining this side at all. That's better. Should have done it the other side if I wanted to be technically correct. I'm going to put some... Come on. Is she all right? Yeah, because these get a little bit lost because they're much smaller than this. I'm just putting some detail on the top. Probably going to make that middle line a bit stronger as well. In fact, oh, I didn't see you other bit. Hi, sorry. Oh, yeah. Apologies. Watching with my eight-year-old daughter, Summer. Hi, Summer. I love owls too. Look, I love them. Okay, let's. Scoot up the middle, make that a bit. That's better. Okay, I think. I don't know. I don't know. First of all, I think I'm right not to finish this tree. I'm glad I haven't gone down that route. So I'm going to go for. The Posca pen I've got in the purple range isn't particularly strong, so I'm going to use the Spectrum Noir metallic pen. And we are just going to put some fine details on his head.
like so. You probably won't see it through the camera. Let me see if I can... Um, uh, you might... I'm hoping you haven't lost me. If you can still hear me, I believe I've lost the camera. Can you let me know if that's the case? Because this has happened before, but it's completely frozen in my OBS. Still here, so my paper's moving just my OBS mucking about then okay let's crack on before it all dies on me and then I get really angry same here I can hear okay yeah it's just my system then being stupid Oh, so annoying. I like to look, I like to look down to my OBS because it gives me like a distance vision against what I'm doing. So I know whether it looks pants or not. But now I can't do it because it's being an ass. Okay. Now I'm debating whether I want to do his back silver or this copper. I'm going to do it copper, I think. That's bronze. Well, it's red garnet, it's called. I'm just testing them on the paper. There's my copper. No, that's gold. Where's copper then? There, there's my copper. Sorry, just as I say, testing. <gasps> nope, copper's dried out. God, I believe that's one side. Okay, I'm going to go with red garnet and pray that it looks okay. It looks okay, I think. No. Okay, we're using antique bronze. You are moving, but not the drawing. Oh no, can't see you. Yeah, that's my worry. No, nope, my battery's gone. I'm going to lose you. There's no way I can switch over to the webcam without losing. Yes, there is. Hang on. Let me see if I can. Crappy crap crap. Right. Coffee man. I need the emergency webcam. My battery's died and it's completely lost. Go, go, go. Yeah, we need emergencies. Right. I'm unclipping the camera because it's useless to you anyway. Turn off. Stay with me. Go with me. Oh, I need to get one of those. Battery battery. No, the Advent's crap. You want more one? I need the C920, yeah. Ow, 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 ow. It's hurting my fingers. Okay. Oh, come on. Yeah, coming. No, not you, this. Oh. I can't do it. Oh, no, it's all your funny paint fingers. Oh, Gosh, so what happens when you get in a rush, mate? The quality is... Oh, yeah, good idea. Quality is probably not going to be very good now. Okay, bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Okay. Plug her in. You'll need to unplug the camera, otherwise it won't what allow camera? power. What camera? The camera is... That one. Oh, that's nice with the window open. Okay, 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 right. Bear with me, guys. Uh, da -da -da, video capture. Logitech. Oh, I don't know which one you are, so I'll just do it again. Logi. 
Okay. Right, whether or not it switches over. Yeah. Okay. Everything looks crap, but hey ho. Previously, <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, we did do it because we are totally awesome. White balance because the white balance is crap. Sorry for the language. You did say an eight year old was watching. Apologies. I don't know whether that's changing me or whether that's changing the other camera. Okay, hang on. Technical difficulties. Jeez Louise. Right, gain down. Right, you're going to have to turn the big light off for me, coffee man. And you're going to see... Oh, no, hang on. There. God, look at the clarity. It's completely lost now. Doing... Uh, we're just going to have to go with light because I'm going to lose. Right, I'm really sorry, guys. As I say, look at the colour difference. That's horrendous. Oh, bless. Sorry. I've got an eight-year-old and a ten-year-old, but yeah, they've had it all. So I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave the feed that you're seeing now. So there's my hand. This is exactly the reason why I changed. Because that ain't blue. Drives me crazy. So this is the reason I've changed. But I have no way of charging the camera at the moment. I have to buy a load of stuff to do it which is quite frustrating but I'm gonna have to do it because the difference in the color is crazy right that's as good as I can get it that's as close to the old one as I can get it so oops I don't want you I want you no, go away. Okay, now you've lost me. So let's... And now my second can's got light flicker on it. Which is really annoying, but hey-ho. Okay. Quick thumbs up. I know there's a huge delay. Quick thumbs up if you can see everything okay and you can see that moving. I will not continue until you let me know and then we'll carry on. That's not bad. We managed to squeeze an hour and a half out of the battery of solid recording time at 1080p. So... I think if I know it's going to be over an hour, I've I've just got to get my arse in gear and get the um get the battery adapter. Okay, I don't need any of the paintbrushes anymore. I don't think. Right, we've got a first thumbs up. That's brill. Okay, so where's my pen? I was going to use that I just shoved out the way in pure panic. It was you. Okay, so let's crack on then. Please work, please work, because I can't undo this. I need to use the other end. So 
so I'm using the triangles to indicate the feathers which is quite typical in naive design just having basic shapes to indicate feathers and fur and things like that I always think I'm never going to go over an hour oh, God's sake come on woman um, over an hour when I do these live feeds and then I always end up doing it fill that space in Oh, he's like Walt Dalton, he is. Beautiful golden blue. I'm losing it. That colour works really well together. I think they're probably a bit too big, but hell, I can't do anything about it now. Well, I probably could, but... Let's not split hairs, eh? That one's probably a bit off. If you are new to watching me, apologies for the plug doing it right now, but you know, consider subscribing. You do get a notification whenever I upload a new video, and of course I do go live every Wednesday. Various subjects, various mediums. If you hit the bell button, hit the notifications for all. Um, otherwise you only really get highlights, which is no good when you want to know when I'm going live. Not that they work particularly efficiently sometimes. I've just finished a portrait where the jumper needed silver star and I hunted high and low. Now I see the pen I needed in your hand. The um, metallic pens are amazing. I love them. I don't know how well this camera is going to pick up any kind of detail, but it, it is reflective. It's just that this camera's crap. That was a pretty good recovery, though, in all fairness. I think we did all right there. Bit of teamwork. Luckily, it wasn't working. Uh, oh, I had a panic there. I did it the wrong way round. I'm losing with points. I've probably got too many on him, but I'm going to go and actually add more detail in a minute. I quite like the curving because it's starting to give him a little bit of shape. He looks like he's got bunting. He's wearing bunting, everybody. Maybe we should call him Bunting. I'll announce the winner of the competition tomorrow, by the way, in the group. Tomorrow? Is it Friday? No, Friday. Erica, if I forget, if I haven't, or Wendy, whoever's in the mood for poking me. Um, if I haven't done it by nine o'clock, give me a poke. This is the silver, Pam. That's the silver. It's really nice. Oh, 
boot here somewhere. I'm a little bit in love with him. Yes, Friday. So if I haven't done it by um, whenever I just said nine o'clock, give me a poke. The competition is in the Art Share group, Benita Doodles Art Share. I asked everybody to give me a name for the recent stag picture that we did on Saturday's live feed. Um, and I'm going to do it in a random name generator because the names are so flipping divine that I'm not going to be able to decide. So it will go in a random generator and it, it will just pick for you. And whoever wins, you may have to wait a few weeks because I've got to scan it, tidy it, print it, post it. But you'll win a print of it. The original is still up for sale, by the way. I'm wondering whether he needs outlining. Do you think he's a bit lost against that sky? I'm debating if he needs an outline. While I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to do that. I think he needs an outline. Even if it's in blue. Yeah, I might outline him in the Posca blue. Okay. And do you know what? I'm going to outline the moon as well. We've got everything else outlined. The only thing I haven't outlined is that background. And I may still do it. We know that the Posca pen works quite nicely over the nail polish, so... Do I have a Posca purple? I have a pinky colour, not so much purple. Come on. I like that light, it looks like the moon's hitting him, the moonlight. Come on. I'm going to outline the oval. I have decided. Yeah, you just got to be careful when you're going over the gouache because it can um, start to block. So the best thing to do is rather than push on the pen to get the colour out, you just need to let it glide, which can be a bit hard to do sometimes because you just want to get the colour out. But it seems to be the most effective way. This is so going on Thoughtful. I don't know if you are aware, but I do sell greeting cards on Thoughtful. 
um, and this is definitely going on there. So is my stag actually. Oh, this is just so satisfying sitting here doing it. I did. I miss this. As much as I love doing realism, I miss going back to my doodle days. Look at that. That's just really made him sing. Oh, hello, you're a leaky one. Let's watch out for that. So this particular set of Poscas I have, a lot of them are metallics. I'll go over that star again in a minute. This is going to look amazing on someone's wall. Cleans up the edges as well of the gouache where it's gone a bit feathery. Oh yes, it needed that. I actually find that really hard sometimes, especially on portraits, but... Oh dear, a lot of the reason people buy your work is because they want people to know that they have your work. So I don't shy away too much about where my signature goes. So I always like to have it close to the artwork stops anyone from cutting your signature away um it varies really yeah it really varies no hard and fast rule as such Let's just get a second coating on these let's have one or two dotted about not too many That looks like a big blob there, but it doesn't. <laughs> One there. Okay, all that leaves then is, I have got a green, right, is the leaf. And then I think I'm done. I don't think his face needs anything. I think his face can probably stay as it is. Oh. You gotta give him a good shake, otherwise the mica doesn't shift. Okay.
No. Oh dear. Someone had to bring down the tone. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to eliminate that. I'm going to forever see that now. We've had no John tonight, have we? It's a shame because you've lost all the detailing because of the camera. You've lost all the detailing in here. I don't even know if that camera's... There you go. Can you see all that? It looks really... It looks a bit washed out in the webcam so apart from his beep shaped beak um actually abigail i'm a bit scared for you because i can't say i've seen many that shape i think you might be looking uh, at the wrong ones it is usually you, actually, Erica. It is. Okay, so do you think I should put some stars around here? Or are we quite happy with the... Yeah, I can't believe I nearly forgot. You're not going to see this through the camera. But it's getting some jelly roll treatment. In fact, let's get even better. Don't know how well this is going to work on this paper. Do we recognise these? Let's test it. Let's see how we go. Let it dry a little bit. It's because of the eyes. The eyes are in the wrong place for that. It's it's making you see. Hey, can you there look at that right that's made my mind up you can't have a starry night without some sparkle no you cannot let's just get some down I didn't think that Posca in fact let me test that out Okay, okay, okay. Go for it. Let's just. I need to squeeze a little bit down the barrel. Okay, give it one tiny little squeeze. Get it, just get the juices going. Not a word from you, Abigail. So yum. You see that? Oh, it's just num. Num num num. I'm gonna do it with the stars are a bit time to dry. 
Okay. Oh, I'm just flicking glitter everywhere now. My bulldog that I'm working on is in front of me and I'm hoping I've moved it up, but I'm hoping it's not getting covered in all this beautiful glitter. Not that I'll be selling it, but still. Let's have a little bit down here. But be careful because the gouache is reactivated, as you can see. This is the Spectrum Noir Glitter Pen. If you don't own any, you need to. Because this is some of the best, or it is the best glitter pen that I have used. Um, you may have heard of Wink of Stella. That's the other version, not Spectrum. But Spectrum do an entire range of colours full of glitter. And they do liquid glitter as well, where you can either refill or you can use it differently. But I blooming love the stuff. Look at that. So it's called, yeah, Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens. And they do a huge range. So we've got the Nail Polish Moon, which worked really, really well. We've got the Matte of the Gouache, which I really love. And then we've got just that sparkle. It's just delicious. That's it. I think we're done. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon, whichever it may be by the time you watch this. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button for all. Live every Wednesday. Try and get a minimum of one video up a week. Either tips or I've got quite a funny one coming up soon-ish. And I've also filmed the picture that I did earlier this morning as well. So I shall get it sorted he is up for grabs if anybody would like to buy him just pop me a message over on twitter instagram facebook and all the other social media platforms you can find me on but i'll see you on the next one